guys. Oh my god. <clears throat> this is what happens when you cut your shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you cut? You literally cut every single shirt that you because own. Because it's like, it, for some reason, because my body's hot, so like, it, I feel like I get more air into it. But it's Zane, it bitch, you I've saw been Shia LaBeouf do it. <laughs> well, I've been wanting to tell Zane, like, you should cut sweaters. You shouldn't cut shirts because they roll up. <laughs> yeah, Zane has this that. like mini inner tube like around his shirt. <laughs> <laughs> because like I cut a sweater one time and I was like Zane doesn't look cool he's like oh, what? Are you, why are you doing that oh, oh, what That's and then so all of a sudden Zane got scissors and cut all of his shirts but That's he cuts he, he cuts the t-shirts though so the fabric just loops up yeah I, I wasn't thinking I wasn't thinking hard on that but yeah he now it just like, rolls up one shirt and test it he was like Let's do yeah, all and, of them. And I go and I go real high too. I'm just like, ooh, this is trendy. I go high and then just rolls up and now I and now I have a crop top. So, <laughs> so if you guys want to get your uh, unfiltered crop tops, just make sure you order it through my code so I can cut it for you and then send it. Uh, that would actually be kind of cute. Actually, that's, that not true, that's, cute. Not true, that's not true. That's not true. Thanks, Ryan. <laughs> it feels good to be back. We're gonna do a drunk podcast for you guys today, Oof. and we're also gonna take our shoes off. Ooh, this yeah, oh yeah, let's do you it. You cannot be tamed. Back by boys. popular demand, y'all yeah. bitches asked for it. We going fun to give it to you mm -hmm. how long have y'all been wearing those shoes for like probably 15 minutes like two and a half or hours. no like an hour and a half Oof. when Oof. i left the house i took a oh. shower and put these shoes on oh let them breathe but Zane, i don't think you have stinky feet like the entire time i've like lived with you and known you i've never had Neither like i've never been about. i've never been stinky before i, I just i it's feel like true. i'm really good it's with true. that it's true you yeah I, you've yeah. never smelled like todd smells more than you. <laughs> also, you didn't Todd even drag out. him like that. Well, no, it's because he works out five times a day. I would hope he smells. <laughs> but Todd will work out, and then he tries to get like things done for his day. <laughs> like, right, right, he'll right. go run errands. Like I gotta take a shower right after. Like, I like work yesterday, out. Todd like was sitting next to Matt, and Matt's just typing. He just goes, "Todd, you." Dink. And Todd got so offended. I know, <laughs> but I love Todd. I love Todd. I'm I not know. trying to drag Wait, him. Let's get this drunk podcast started, baby. Right. It's already hitting. Ooh. It's drunky talk. <laughs> <laughs> drink responsibly. Drink responsibly. Please drink responsibly. <laughs> Drinking may cause death. <laughs> Remember when I said I wasn't feeling it like five minutes ago? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guy, I don't know. Oh, I don't know it. what happened. We all took our shot and it immediately hit me. I, 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 I don't know why. I think I ate. I ate like two meals today, but it just hit me all out of nowhere. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good because we're supposed to be joined. This is our this is our twenty fifth podcast, guys. Guys, let's can we take a moment? For Give a us guys? a break. Come on, twenty five episodes. Jubilee. Thank you guys for watching us for this long. Yeah. I can't believe, I literally can't believe we're doing it. Still. Yeah, I'm this really proud so of you guys awesome. to like get through twenty five. No, Zane, 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 we're proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that means it's been like twenty five weeks. That's exactly. Yeah. That. <laughs> that, means, that means it's Matt. been. Give it up for Matt. I that, that means it's like been like half a year. Give it up for Oh my Matt. God, Matt. <laughs> Matt, how long have you been drinking? Have you been drinking before this podcast? Uh, yeah. Expose him. Matt, Matt showed up kind of buzzing. Oh well, we my. We didn't even know it. Y'all didn't know, but I was, <laughs> I came in and I was like, I am too drunk for this. <laughs> were you drinking purposely because you knew you were, gonna, you were about to do a drunk podcast? Yeah, or you yeah, were just <laughs> yeah, let's just say that. Yeah, I had just been drinking because I was doing something yeah you were celebrating huh were we celebrating back there where were we where were you at before love. this you really wouldn't no no yeah. it wasn't love but you really i, I thought we we're not going to talk about this talk about what i was recording something with another person oh <laughs> Oh, oh. And cut. <laughs> cut it out. <laughs> Hold on, you're doing drunk episodes? No, it wasn't a drunk episode, but I just like had a, a drink before and wow. then a drink after. Oh. I don't okay. know if it's a good And time. we're not gonna get into that because I don't want to get flustered on our twenty fifth episode. Too late. What are you guys drinking right now? Uh, we're drinking uh Vodka Rebel. A tequila, um what's it red tequila red bull blue? <laughs> I don't red know. Tequila blue, blue. Red bull? I don't know, like it's really it's fruity. Like throw up to me. <laughs> Like, I don't know if it's like a sign, like <laughs> foreshadowing. <laughs> oh, God. What's in there? Fuck <laughs> a rebel. Oh, my God. Then again, my mom rewashes plastic cups. <laughs> so She did that's not. That's crazy. Oh, yeah. She rewashes your plastic cups. Mm -hmm. Does she like rewash? Go, <laughs> go, go look in the sink. They're Does, all laying out, all oh, dried. Oh, she like hand washes and yeah. then. 
air dries them. Mm-hmm. Does she wash plastic forks and spoons and shit too? D- baby, you know what? And that's oh on my- saving money. <laughs> and that's on balling on a budget. <laughs> and that's on saving plastic instead of throwing it away, right? Hey, exactly. But it's very good. If you put plastic in a dishwasher though, wouldn't it like yeah, melt it or get deformed because it's right. so yeah, hot? So we don't do that. It's, it's I'm very hot. I'm very obvious there. things today. <laughs> oh my God. I'm on that like Matt nap. really is drunk. <laughs> Matt turns into sober us when he's drinking. <laughs> <laughs> just become Captain Obvious. Like I'm just like, is this real? All right, guys, welcome to Zane and Heath Unfiltered. I'm your host, Zane. Good job, and I'm Heath, <laughs> and we remember to do our intro. Yeah, we've been forgetting like every episode to do the intro, but it's just because we just, I don't know. People already Whatever. know. We They're just used jump to into it. the juice and the funny. Exactly. Yeah. And if you don't know who it is and what the show is, baby, you late. Period. 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 Mm. That's on pe- a period, no cap. <laughs> And that and um, is that what they say? <laughs> Damn it! I That's tweeted out the other day. I tweeted, "What's no cap?" Because I literally had no idea. What does it mean? Hold on, hold on. what's it's like? It's no like, cap. What's no? I don't got. I don't got to yell it. You it already know. True. No cap. I don't have to put it in caps. No cap means like for real, right? Yeah. Period. Oh, oh. So, it's, so, it's, it's, so it's almost like, like like dead ass. Got it. So it's like Mariah, you do too many TikToks. No cap. Yeah, right. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Oh, yeah. No cap Urban Dictionary top definition. No cap basically means that they're not lying or capping mm. like they did something. Sometimes people write it like this. <laughs> See, Heath and I are from Florida, so capping means I'm about bust a cap in your goddamn ass. That's what, that's what I hear cap. I hear capping, cap. I think bullets. Or, yeah, no lying. Us putting a cap, we lying about our hairline. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Oh, I thought it had to deal with, like, typing something. Like no capitalization. <laughs> oh I mean, like I, I don't got. No, s- I think it does mean like no cap. Like I'm not saying it in all caps. I'm saying in lowercase because I'm like being. But it doesn't about seem shit. like that right uh, now. Well, it's that's like YouTube title shit. Oh, I don't know. I don't think I don't people know. are thinking like that. Oh my god. But just where's the etymology behind the cap? My dad's version of no cap is in plain English. That's what he says. <laughs> in plain, plain English. 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 You stink in plain English. <laughs> By the way, lately I've been seeing so many guys that look just like your dad, Mariah. Oh, Everybody really? looks like your dad. <laughs> Robert De Niro. <laughs> and they're all they're all from New York too, so it's like there I feel like go. it's just Everybody they all look the Italian. same. <laughs> they're Italian, yeah. Right. Oh my is that was that like being stereotypical? About Italians looking yeah. like someone looking like my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty fucked up. Is it? No. <laughs> got all my, n- no more, no more. Guys, I'm about to be the color of this cup. Oh, my God. Who wore Black it? Dale. Black Dale. <laughs> who wore it best, Zane's shirt or Zane's cup? So, hold on. Say that one more time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, wait, I didn't hear you're that. Matching, you're matching your cup. Zane has a black solo cup. <laughs> With a yellow straw. Wow. Okay. And, that, and it matches. On, what's, what's, remember the video of the chap, the girl with the chapstick, and she's like putting it next to her friend that's dressed like the yes, chapstick. Yes, yes, oh. yes. That's what it is. Yeah. That's about right. Yeah, no, that's about right. That's about right. Okay. Okay. My straw and cup matches my shirt, guys. So for the people watching, for the people listening, <laughs> or for the. For wow. people listening, watch it. God, tomorrow. this is gonna be a bad oh, long no. episode. We are starting. We're not starting very good. Um, it's okay. Woo! It's all right. It's all right. Um, but yeah, speaking of my mom earlier about the cups, she was just visiting. Mm-hmm. Corey in the house. I love when your mom <laughs> does this. It gets crazy. She over. used to be like terrified of flying. Wouldn't get on a plane to save like anybody. Yeah. And now I, I can't get her to stop coming out to visit. Like she just loves it. Like she 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 takes a little happy pill. <laughs> <laughs> she and said, guys, it's not Molly. It's she legal. Said, I didn't have a Zan 13 hours. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> <laughs> she loves coming out here now and uh she she spent a couple days and we we took her out you guys especially took her out the last night she was here right? oh, oh last night yeah was a celebration she really got to experience our lifestyle that night she it went was to our, she crazy. can hang she can, <laughs> she, can. <laughs> Man, she got to her uh she, she got to her uh she had fun yeah because we went out to saddle ranch and then i was like having drinks with like a few people and then y'all left and i thought y'all were going home but then we i went saw to the, the inst- club <laughs> which club uh highlight what oh, what's what? that Nightclub again? I don't remember. No, Doheny what? room. Doheny. Oh, that's like, where we ended up. I remember like the plan was to go there, and I was gonna stay. It's uh, I was gonna stay where we were, but you you were gonna go, and I was like, yo, I don't think your mom's gonna like it there, man. It's like she loved it. She was like, <laughs> they're playing the good songs. <laughs> I was like, all right, all right. Yeah. But it's funny. Before we even went out, we were in on David Street, and this is like we're about to go out. Everyone's like getting ready for the oh, night, yes. and David like, backs up into a car. <laughs> And we just got finished telling Corey, like, 
He, David's a pretty good driver. He's pretty safe. <laughs> yeah, he's a very good, like, He's accurate. Driver. That was so funny. It was, I mean, it wasn't funny that he hit a car, but I mean, no, no but actually, it was, it was fucking hilarious. I, like, it, it was just, it was just really bad timing. Like, okay, like, there wasn't somebody in a seatbelt. <laughs> and your mom's like, there. Right. <laughs> oh, guys, it was a parked car. There was nobody in the car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah. We should make that very clear. clear. Nobody was in the car. He hit, it was, it was on a street and he, he hit a parked car. <laughs> he hit a parked car. That's very embarrassing. <laughs> well, it, <laughs> like he was backing up and then hit it yeah. right but i thought like teslas have the detection where they a tesla wouldn't even allow you to hit a yeah my car oh, won't true. allow it. it it does a Wait, dead really? stop yeah it's like it's scary the way it stops Whoa. but the way it stops is like you almost you hit somebody like the way it feels is like you hit somebody wow. when it, when it Lamborghini. <laughs> <laughs> but, appar but apparently david took his sensors off or he deactivated them oh uh, well so hey, that's david, why it boy. happened which i'm like why, why was he why did he take the sensors off i don't know you know what i would pay to see what, Mariah? <laughs> <laughs> what would you pay? Uh, well, to I'll do? tell you. Tell man. us. I'll tell us. You, <laughs> um, well, wait a second. Listen up, Mariah. What all, is it? All of our parents fly out here, and they all. Just, I would love to parents watch them. Day. In parents weekend. Oh my, I, I, we've come up with this idea, but for some reason, like it was somebody was saying, it would never work out because nobody ever has the same like days off. We right? would have to wait until they're all retired. But how people, are they, people work real jobs. But how are these TikTok? Like, how are these TikTok uh, people having all their parents out at the same time? That's what. Oh saying. shit! Like, don't they because have jobs? Those, I don't know. No, no, I don't no, Matt, say, say, say it. Uh, some of those TikTok parents, I think, are like have been stage moms since day one. Oh, you're right. Oh, okay. They, they have agree. prepped and taken those kids to dance classes and have prepped for this moment for their kid to be where they're at. So I of agree. course they have the I free that. time. That's. But I'm not saying that like cynically but also, oh no no also be proud of it cynic cyniker <laughs> cynic. they seem like some people that would call out sick <laughs> <laughs> just saying what were we talking about god this is what i hate we're drinking. Like, i can't remember how we even <laughs> we're got to what we're talking about. about we're talking about his mom being in town like oh, we just went out we had a, wild a parents night. weekend someone yeah. actually did email us this past week saying like why don't you guys do that i know it would be expensive but i think you should that'd be really funny to just like, stand back and watch yeah that. i would pay for my parents to come but it's like you said it's it's getting the time off yeah. to come do it yeah, yeah he'd be, he'd be, he's but what would time. we do if all of our parents came out like okay, we a boat we should take a boat <laughs> a big boat Who, whose parent gets seasick first <laughs> 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 no really what would be a good like thing to do with all of them I don't know. They just would bring be out fine babe. Just hanging out. That's like their thing. I feel yeah. like everybody would just hang they out. They should replace us. It would us, have to be something to for... like seclude us from everybody. Just I, I think a boat for all of us to just really hang so out. So they can't oh. escape. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Or we just make a vlog where all of them play us. <laughs> uh, <laughs> My dad doesn't drink, so it's gonna be impossible for him to be <laughs> I know, right? Even <laughs> That'd be so funny. I don't know. Just all of our parents together just makes my heart like go ecstatic. It's like a dream. It, it yeah. really is like a dream. Uh, well, imagine all of our kids. Oh, God, we're going down this route again. Oh, my God. Okay, <laughs> no kid talk. No kid talk. <laughs> Mariah's pregnant. No, I'm kidding. But, uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> our second pregnancy announcement. Um, um, we but, got another announcement. Was... Todd and Natalie are dating. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Okay, hold on. Hold, hold on. on. I'm kidding. Hold on. Oh. Guys, I know, baby. It's uh, Zayna Heath uneducated again. We don't know shit. Wait, but can we like but, kind of like yeah? No, I, I want to talk about it. I think it's fucking weird. You think it's you weird? Think it's weird. I think it's weird. I don't think it's real. I I agree with Matt. I just I don't think it's real. I think it's like I think it's fun for the both of them. Yeah, I think, I it's think like, they like the yeah. idea of it. Sure. Yeah. It's like the it's like the dating somebody behind everybody's back that people don't know about, but it's like mysterious. It's, it's sneaky. It's, yeah. It feel, it's like right. wrong. So like it, it feels like. If you dated somebody outside of the friend group, it's like, okay, cool, who's this person? But it's like, you're dating in the friend group, and it just feels like it's something you're not supposed to do. It's like controversial. Do. It's like dating your cousin. Right. But, it, but for <laughs> the, oh, my God. <laughs> but I got to say, though, for the listeners who, like, want this scoop on, like, is it legit or is it not – as this, a friend, I, I think there I think are days Todd's where I'm like, it's real or it's it's a thing, and then there yeah. are days where I'm like, it's not a thing. But we legitimately don't know. We <laughs> I actually have. I no think idea. Todd. I think Todd has a, like a little bit of feelings for her. Oh, 100 yeah. you know, percent. Yeah. Okay. So, but this, Todd falls easily. He falls head first and like stumbles <laughs> over and over. He's and over. a hopeless romance. And, yeah. and, right. and it's okay because she is a part of our friend group. So like, it's like, it feels, he feels safe. Right. It's like entertaining for the rest of the friend group mm -hmm. in some way, you but know? But it's definitely not one-sided. 
That's yes, the confusion. Hundred percent. Yeah. Not one side. But I feel like that's been that's that's been made clear already in like David's videos and. But yeah. I hope so. What's up with all of these like memes about like this Corinna and Natalie feud? Has Corinna been like posting stuff that she's mad? No, at no, 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 no. I, I think no. people. I, I mean, if if they are posting shit like that, they're definitely they're just making assumptions. They just think that one person's mad and then they're gonna just run off with it. I mean, you Karina's, know how like some of these Karina's people are. definitely fine. Yeah, she's yeah, fine. She yeah. is she's fine. fine. So I was like, where is all of this coming from? Yeah. Like, um, but we, guys, we shouldn't be so worked up over that stuff though, because like we know exactly who we are, and so it, like it really doesn't matter what. Like, no, yeah, hundred percent. But just, just to clarify, we literally don't know. <laughs> we actually like don't know. Yeah, we don't. Right. But the, his his song was really good. Natalina. Yeah, I, I thought it was funny. Natalina, I've, been I've been dreaming, dreaming about, about the girl next door. Natalina, Natalina, never damn been ever done before. It should have been you in the back, back of the, of the Tesla. Tesla. There That's, all, I That's know. all we know. <laughs> That's all we know. Can we talk about Scott's new house real quick? Oh, um, I love, love it. it. I love yes. it. Love, love, love. Love it. It's, it's like, so cozy. It reminds me of Bellingham. It reminds me of Denny. It just reminds me it's of the super oh, good old Denny days. Vibes. It definitely reminds me of Denny. Yeah, it's super like super Denny vibes. I didn't and exist in Denny. I, she has no idea. Yeah, exactly. Right. Oh, you haven't seen yeah. it. You, oh, were, you've were seen you it? even there you during the Denny born. days? She wasn't, wasn't born, born yet, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you never got to see the Denny house. Oh my goodness. It those the. I, 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 this is probably the fourth time I've said on the podcast the peak of our life the peak it was mm -hmm. it was just so we're still we were just peak. so young no I'm saying like we were just it was so fresh and so yeah. young and so everything was just so like were you guys everybody like was so carefree we no we were not no we were like 22 20 uh, yeah. no we we're old 23 I moved out at 21 it was probably 22 yeah yeah 22 23. wow it was so much fun and we ju so we cool. just met Scott and Todd and all the, so it was just it was a rush of just like meeting new people and like living with them and it's like you know how it is like. <laughs> Sorry. You all right? You gonna puke, guys? Heath is about to puke. I'm not. We're gonna to have to take a break. I'm good. Guys, we got to do an ad break. Heath's about to puke. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny, that's funny. All right, yeah, yeah, no, let's hit it. We just want to give a little announcement. Mm -hmm. It's pretty big. You want to say Heath? No, you say go ahead. Okay, go, okay. baby, you want it? I can a tell. Big, we got a new sponsor. Me undies. I'm but, actually super excited about this one because yeah, me too. Me undies is great. I wear all their underwear. My entire drawer is filled with me undies. It's my favorite. Me undies is under me undies. <laughs> no, they're, they're, it's the undies that's for me. You know what I'm saying? Is. Okay, well, we're going to have a little QVC uh, episode for you guys. Um, Heath is going to tell you all about what I'm wearing. Okay. And I'm going to be the model. Oh, he's so, gonna I'll on? be right back. Hold on. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, Zane. Bring it on down. Come on. Don't be shy. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god, you guys you guys gotta see this. Come on, say Oh my god, he festive too. <laughs> right, you probably heard me undies are the softest undies to ever grace your nether regions. And that's because they're made with micro modal. What the heck is that? It's a magical, sustainable, soft as heck fabric made from trees. Yes, that's trees, and it makes your a bit to feel like they're floating on a cloud. They're designed to be the softest you've ever put on your body, and they're offered in extra small to 4XL. And we have our model, Zane Hijazi, rocking our brand new full length cherry blossom yellow undies, and they are actually phenomenal. Me Undies doesn't just make undies, they also make loungewear, which is recently uh, glowing up. Check out their new lifestyle micromodal loungewear, where you can wear it in and out of the house. Me Undies has a great offer for the listeners tuning in right now. For the first time purchasers, you get 15% off and free shipping. This is a no brainer guys, especially because they're 100% satisfaction guaranteed. If you guys wanna get all those goodies, Please go to meundies.com slash unfiltered. That's meundies.com slash unfiltered. All right. Give it up for the beautiful model, Zane Hijazi. Hey guys, hey guys, All hey, right. Come on, come on, guys. Hey, man, right, wake up. I'm like low key jealous here. right now because you you actually look more comfortable. I look co I'm comfy right now. <laughs> I'm <laughs> they, really Can comfy. I touch them? Let me touch them. Yeah, yeah, go. I love me They're undies. so soft. They're Watch your hands. Whoa. Watch your hands. They're actually like the first pair of underwear, like after I do my laundry. 
think I will only wear me undies until I That's run out nice. of them. Yeah, I actually I remember they gave me a whole box last year at Coachella, okay. and they were so I was, nice. I was gonna bring that up. The cactus pair. Yeah, that is the yes. only pair of underwear that has stayed the same since I got them. Really? Which is weird because normally, like my underwear gets the, not not crusty, but they get like they're just oh, frayed. They get, they're they're like, like they get old. Yeah. They get like dingleberry ish type. Right. Like, they get like, like yeah. little balls. Yeah. Okay, but apparently they're made from trees. <laughs> me undies is like, and the ad is still going. <laughs> They're loving this. No, but I, like I'm actually like excited about it because it, it's a product that we both. Oh, I, I, I wear all the time. I'm a little it's, jealous. No, really they soft. I'm a little jealous they haven't sent Mariah and I something. Yeah, what me undies send Matt and Mariah a box. Send me undies. Anyway, you, yeah. you guys can go to meundies.com backslash on filter and we have, get your own. We haven't even we haven't even sent them a box of our own merch. <laughs> Uh, they got a bar. Yeah, I still we haven't even got a box of our own. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we got, guys, up here. <laughs> no, no, those should be ours, and we have not got them. The ones hanging behind you. Yeah, but it's oh, we'll, okay. We'll give it to you once they once they falls off the string. We'll give it to you. Do you puke uh, often? I don't. I don't puke. <laughs> I asked her like it was the most serious question. <laughs> I locked like eyes it was with like Heath a fucking and... like presidential debate. Yeah. Like, you don't puke when you drink. You puke the next day the because next this, morning, this, your stomach feels like right. It's pooping. either I puke the next morning out of like oh fuck I just like feel shitty, or it's the same night where I'm like I don't want to sit with this in my system. Yeah. But you can. And I know that's how I feel. Too. You can puke no problem. I just. I, yeah, I, mean, I will easy. sit. I'll sit around for hours, d telling myself I don't have to puke. If Sometimes it's not bad to of... like to get it out because as soon as it's out, you feel so much you better. You don't want it sitting in your system because just either. sitting in you, it's sitting in your stomach. Last time I threw up though was with you on Cinco de Mayo in a Taco Bell. <laughs> on Cinco <laughs> de Mayo in a Taco Bell <laughs> drive through. Oh. Oh my god, that was crazy, Matt. Because the whole day, Stoss had like the 1942 Don Julio <laughs> and was just like chug, chug, chug at Cinco de Mayo. Chug. And then we got to the drive thru and Zane's order. He's like, Can I get a cheesy queso deal? Oh, uh, we were in an Uber, by the way. So we, uh, we our Uber best. was in the drive thru. And it's so much fun going through drive thrus with Ubers because yeah, yeah, you yeah. just offer them as, as long and as then you they offer get them. They're excited about it. They're like, yeah. yeah. Guys, if you're in an Uber and you go through it, if, and you stop at a drive through Just get your driver food. Literally, that's all. That, that's all you gotta better. do. Yeah. But once Zane started saying his order, like he's like, "I want a cheesy gordita," like blah blah blah, and he started like saying the specific. <laughs> I don't know. This it was me asking twenty questions like I normally do when I'm in a restaurant. Well, he's yes. bad at ordering like food in general. <laughs> Can I get this minus this? Can we add I, this on exactly? The side? So grill this a little bit more than the other thing, and like, can we possibly? So he's describing the ingredients, and my stomach, food. my <laughs> stomach just starts going. <laughs> I was like, Zane, I have to puke. And he goes, well, go, go, go. Yeah, get it out. It's good. And like, wait, I got out <laughs> on this side of the Taco Bell. Should we show the video? Through. I there, have, you have videos. Video. Oh, yeah, of course oh, I have a video. <laughs> and then you guys left me, and I had to get an Uber. I was like, just go. Oh, <laughs> Oh shit! That reminds me of the scene in Bridesmaids where everybody's shitting in the bathroom in the and while trying in on bridesmaids stalls, dress, yeah. and she's just like, "Just go, go." <laughs> <laughs> That's what Matt was doing outside of the fucking drive. -thru. I feel like Zane would go to like a, a Burger King and still ask if they have rice. Like, Can I get a side of white rice? White Mariah, rice. First off, that's fucked up. Second off, that's a hundred percent true. Hundred percent has this fucking rice. If I was like Always that rice. drunk, I would a hundred percent be like, or I would ask, Wait. "Is there anything?" <laughs> Is there anything with the consistency of rice? That's what I would remember, remember, remember when Zane bought two dinners because the one dinner he wanted didn't come with rice? So he bought an entire chicken dish that came with rice because they wouldn't do it on the side. I think so, I was there at that dinner. That sounds. It was, uh, and the, that's on the, being financially stable. Right, exactly. <laughs> no, Zane ordered Taco Bell to the house, but. I, Hold on, I, before you, before you say that story, can I uh, can I just finish the story right here? Okay, okay, yeah. okay, you might think that oh wow, Zane is so whatever for ordering two meals because one rice. Why couldn't they just give me a side of rice? No, Why did they have to give me a whole meal? That's well, on them for sure, a hundred percent. They should have just been like, yeah, five bucks. Here's some rice. It's like those LA restaurants. They like they make these menus and they're like, oh, you can't change them. And it's like, why? Oh, okay, they you, always have that. The burger spot we go to. You yeah. can't take anything off. You can't add anything. It's just this is how it's coming, and that's. 
that's it. It's like, but I don't like tomatoes in my burger. It, no, then, then we. I'm sorry, we can't do that. It's what? What do you mean? Just don't put it in. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> People out here, it's like if it's not their way, then it's like the, the highway. highway. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> uh, oh, you got, oh, guys, guys, guys here. <laughs> hey, guys here. Guys, come here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just see. Let's just see. Like easy with the peanut gallery over there. Remember at the beginning where we were like, me and Matt shouldn't talk as much, and it's just no, so just like <laughs> can't give you guys a shut up. Um, yeah, we should have like snacks out here, you know, when we like talking and stuff. Have yeah. like that that char uh, what's that charcuterie shit? What, what, what's the thing that you have to have out? Charcuterie. Charcuterie. Got it. Charcuterie. You have the cheese. You got the, you got the cheese. A little, a little bit you got of meat. A little bit of honey. Mm -hmm. What oh. brings us to our next <laughs> area? <Yep. laughs> Zane, that was good. What is Honey? Baby, Honey is an online shopping tool that automatically applies the best promo code to your order at your cart when you're ready to check out. Also, Honey has found its over 18 million members has saved over $2 billion. Mm -hmm. Baby, you know how much $2 billion is? But how much is that? That's, that's two $1 billion. Uh, that was a genius. <laughs> <laughs> they also have support over 30,000 different stores, which include Macy's, Target, Best Buy, and all your favorites like Sephora, baby. They got everything. Guys, I just got a new house, so I've been buying a lot of knickknacks from Target. Mm -hmm. So, And Target's one of those stores that you can buy off honey. It sure so is. I've bought so many new things on there. And... I've, I've saved a lot of money on it. So. Uh-huh, baby. And using Honey feels great. Think of it as like a little daily victory. Plus, it's free to use and installs in just a few seconds. Mm -hmm. So get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash unfiltered. Again, that's joinhoney.com slash unfiltered. Download it. And then save money. Like, I, I it, it's so easy. It's so passionate. When Heath is this passionate about something, you got to follow his orders. No, I mean, but it's, it's crazy because, like, I, I downloaded it, like, no joke, a year and a half ago. And it still is on my computer. And I keep saving money because I know, of it. Especially since I just bought a new house. It's like I've saved so much money on it. Because I don't normally buy a lot of things online. Especially but I've been using it a lot. Online is the future. Yeah. Oh, oh, he's oh he's just, feeling just save your money, baby. Join <laughs> join honey. Dot com slash unfiltered. That's unfiltered. <laughs> <laughs> Back to what you're talking about. Zane's excessive Taco Bell or dinner orders. Um <laughs> clickbait you but, really want to go back to that well i don't know i do want to say though that uh, i walked out of the house one morning and there was a huge order from taco bell sitting there and i was like oh my god yes taco bell who ordered it and i knew zane was gone and i thought todd it was gone or i knew todd was gone and and i texted dima i go is this your taco bell he goes no and i was like well, then who sent in? Demo's like, probably a fan. And turns out you had ordered it, yeah, it the night me. before, and you didn't get it from the front. <laughs> no, no I know. So I, be, I ordered it. We've all done this. You order something, and you uh, fall asleep. And we, that's exactly uh, what I, I know. Did. I did that the other day at David's. I ordered a pizza and, like, some cheesy breadsticks. How whole, could you? I would stay up. I, I'm so hungry. Well, no, I got to like, get no, it. No, no. Like it's just hard sometimes. You're hungry, and you're like, fuck, I want it now. So, like, you order it, and then. No, what we do is, like, oh, a, later. a quick little nap before you eat would be nice. That's exactly what we do, and we just. But then nobody wakes you up. Let the nap be a full REM sleep, and then we fuck up. It's okay. It, and shit like that happens. Mm -hmm. And that's all, and that's Wait, all no, little Caesars. I, I want to hear, <laughs> hear about Matt puking. What, what happened with that? Oh, we are on this for 10 minutes. No, we don't really have to go back. Point is, Cinco de Mayo, I puked in a Taco Bell drive through Zane was very understanding and encouraging. Uh, <laughs> but I told him to move on, and I got my own Uber home. All right. But that was the last time I puked. It was, it was, that was a lot of fun. I, I, that night, I don't... Uh, mm, well... Mm, well, I haven't thrown up since, like, fourth grade. <laughs> really? Why'd you throw up in fourth grade? Oh, you, the you flu too much? of 2005. <laughs> I'm too, I, I tell, when you tell yourself that you're good, like, I do that every, like, I mean, I've never f felt like I've, throwing I've never up. seen you puke, ever. Yeah, I just, I, I can't don't imagine do you throwing it. Up. I think I train myself to not do it. There's never a moment where I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to throw up. <laughs> me trying to, put, me trying to time in. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I, yeah, I can't yeah, imagine yeah, I you can't throwing up. <laughs> <laughs> can't imagine it. M Mariah be puking like, what? <laughs> Why do I feel like you have to apologize no, I'd be, I'd to the be like this. Be like, every five seconds? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was good. That was good. <laughs> TikTok, more like yik yak yak. Do you remember? Yeah, do you remember the yik yak app? Yeah, the. Hold on, that was, was called yik yak. yak. Yeah. yeah. 
It was Yik Yak? What? Yik Yak. What? Yik Yak before the TikTok. Yik Yak was this app where you could anonymously post um, in an area like uh, it was, it was geo specific. So it was like a college thing. So you could just anonym on anonymously post things on it. But I think it got shut down because of like harassment issues. Like, oh really? Yeah. Like that ask, was one of Ask FM. Pretty much. It was kind of like, like that. But uh, geolocation based. Huh? Weird. It, that was actually one of Heath and I's first like Vine jobs. Yep. Was, that was our first like like big. official like big job that we had to go to a location and film. And we and only like, got it because Jerry Perfjank turned it down. Remember oh, that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. We got, a, we got a lot of jobs back then because people turned it down. Oh, man. That was you sad. You know what, baby? It is okay out there, listeners, to be the runner up. It is. <laughs> yes, it really it is. is. It's good. You start at the bottom. You make your way to the top uh -huh. he started at janitor and i started at the forever 21 you know we start we all start somewhere <laughs> exactly i can't believe you worked as a janitor that's crazy you want to know the most fucked up part of being that that janitor oh. one day <laughs> my boss called me in and you know like the the big play pen chess type things where it's like it's a the toy box uh -huh. like like <laughs> the, but the toy box is big as like this couch where are you working it was a gymnastics place. Why can't okay, I and they had they had a toy box at the gymnastics. Imagine, place. Uh, yeah. Okay, I was just like you were janitor. Okay, you and know, I'm like, like pool, like where, where the pool toys are. Yes, yes. Like those type of big yes. plastic, plastic boxes. Plastic that, boxes. Like, oh, yeah. Uh huh. So we had one of those in the gymnastics place. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> what? Mariah can't get her straw in her mouth. Um. Zane, oh my god. Okay. I need so, a refill, Araya. My I, boss, Araya. <laughs> Miss Araya. Miss Malaya, I need a Malaya. refill. So I get told that a kid peed in the toy box. Oh, the no. entire toy chest lifted it up, stood inside, and peed in it. So I had to go in, get every single toy out, wash them, soap them down, clean the inside of the fucking toy chest. And just desanitize the entire box. Uh, I can only imagine what that smells like, too. Like, t kids' toys and piss on top of it. It was bad. Ooh. You worked at a gymnastics place? Yep. Which, uh, ASI? <laughs> uh, it's called Tag. Oh, uh, called Tag. <laughs> hmm. Can you do a backflip? <laughs> Well, he was, was the, a janitor. I was the janitor, man. At the gymnastics. The janitor's like, you damn, <laughs> He's like, you damn kids, jumps on the trampoline, does a, does a backflip with a mop. <laughs> You're doing backflips as you fucking mop the shit. Jeez. I was a damn good janitor. No, I, like, you are really good at cleaning shit, though. Like, I, like getting shit, I don't know. You're yeah, just really so good. Yeah, it's so hot. <laughs> <laughs> you were a janitor, and I was a house cleaner. Oh. Hold on, really? Yeah. Huh, you cleaned houses? Me and my mom, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh. Wait, wait did your mom, like, bring you along? Yeah. Like Child how, labor law? Oh, how, like, how old are you? I was older. I was, like, 17. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, sometimes our cleaning lady will bring, like, her daughter, and sometimes I'm like, I don't think she's... <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't oh, like, know if, like, I'm allowed to say this or not, because... Like, I, don't I don't know. know I don't want to be incriminated. Like, the law is, but my brother went to a really nice school, like a private school, Ooh. and in order for him to go there, he had to play football, and he was a, a phenomenal athlete. Like, he yeah. was a fucking beast. You know, you know how he got to go to private school? Because, because we Corey cleaned. washed plastic cups. Exactly. <laughs> and saved money. There you go. He could go to the school for free if we cleaned classrooms. Really? So we would work like for the school and go clean classrooms in order for him to get free tuition to the school. Oh shit! Because they because Wait, they wanted cool. him to play there and like be on the football team. Oh wow! So you would clean? But I was I was like eight years old and I was like changing oh. trash cans i was mopping the floor vacuuming so my wow. brother could go to this school cool damn good they job he gave him a scholarship come on give us you know what? That sounds, like, he owes me, huh? wow if we're chasing back to what we were talking about we were talking about scott's house i don't know if we like <laughs> oh, oh my god, god. We're, supposed to do a, we're supposed to do a paranormal episode I just Holy told Matt, shit. remember the paranormal episode? I would love to do the paranormal episode, but I want to give the people like the best. Drag uh, it out. Drag, drag it drag. out. <laughs> drag it why don't we out. Give, why don't we do a couple stories, like two stories, and then the next one will be like to be continued. But Ooh, wait, wait, hold on, that's hold on. a good, you guys want that? <laughs> All right. right. Yeah, they just put the microphone to his ear wait. to hear you guys answer. Do you guys see where the forest is? Over there. Can you find my patience? <laughs> Can you say basura? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, please don't leave. Don't unsubscribe. <laughs> I have like a cute like story about my grandpa. Okay. Go ahead. Sh should I? Okay. 
So anyway, just the way she said it, the, 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 the way she okay. said it was a cute story that, that made me want to hear it. I never met my grandpa. Okay. So my mom brought a medium to the house um, to see if she can. A medium is somebody who can talk to the people who have passed over. She said that my grandpa came through. She was like, "Your dad came, is coming through," and my grandpa died from smoking. So when they buried him sorry when they buried him they put like a pack of cigarettes in his pocket <laughs> because like because that's, <laughs> that's what killed him so they were just like here's, like, here's what you love okay. like here you okay. go whatever the here's what you love <laughs> <laughs> so the medium um said he's he said thank you for the cigarettes and she was like oh yeah we buried him like we put cigarettes in his pocket what what yeah. no and Weird. then she also said she was like he's saying thank i got the note thank you for the note and my mom was like i don't know about any note like whatever and then my aunt said she secretly wrote him a note and put it in the coffin too, in his pocket. What the? Oh, that's yeah. so weird. And then the medium pointed to my little brother. His name is John. My grandpa's name is John. <clears throat> and she's she's like, he's saying that that's his namesake, which is John. Like he was named after my grandpa. So she was pointing at my little brother and saying like, that's, that's my it's namesake. It's so weird because like, I know what they are, like the mediums. And I don't want to believe it, but there's so many people that have dealt with stuff like this that yeah, that have crazy. said such crazy shit that I'm like, you can't it, Google that her grandpa exactly. was buried with cigarettes. No. You right. know, like yeah, that's too exactly. specific. He also or said, that he got a note in his pocket. Yeah. And do you think? And do you think this medium? Like, I'm not discrediting this medium at yeah. all because, like, right? As someone like me, I just don't believe in that stuff at all. I don't mm -hmm. I, like. I don't know why I don't believe in like media. I, I have a hard that, time like, too. It's, it's, I, hard. it's hard. It's to really hard it's to like believe. Super, that. It's literally like a superpower. So it's yeah, hard it is, to believe. Exactly. Yeah. This medium had no contact with other family members. So like, no. hey, tell me about. Okay. Imagine after we all die, like we start getting contacted by mediums. It's like, oh shit, this shit does work. Yeah. And right? the, but oh there's no God. way to tell. There's no. Oh, there's yeah. no way of us to tell yeah. them that hey, this shit works. We just yeah. have to. Have oh, and one more little thing. One more little thing about my grandpa. Yeah. It's just weird that like I never met him. So it's like these connections. I came home from school one day. I think I was in kindergarten and my mom asked me how I did on my test. And I was like, oh, I did good. And she was like, oh, you know, you did good. And I was like, yeah, grandpa told me. And she was like, and I've never, I'm, sh I, I haven't like really seen a picture of my grandpa when I was this age. I was yeah. probably like six. And, um, she was like, Grandpa, like, how do you know? And I and I said, he came into my classroom and told me I'm going to do good on my test. So my mom pulled out a picture of a bunch of family members, and she was like, is he in this picture? And I pointed to my grandpa. Oh, my God. So weird. Very weird, yeah. Wow. That's crazy. Crazy. The people that have been, like, reincarnated stories mm -hmm. blow my mind. I love those stories. I love them. When it's so accurate, you can't, like, deny like, it, though. Right, like, that's exactly, four year olds, exactly. Four-year-olds talking about, like, World War Two And 9-11. <laughs> and being in, like, a World War Two fight, like, in airplanes. Yeah. And being shot down that's into specific locations. That, are, that have been accurate and being like mm -hmm. naming people from pictures and being like, Did you see the it? little boy that was a pilot and he died? Yes, that's and what then, I'm talking about. And then he pointed to a picture and said, this was my best friend. So they tracked down that guy. And when the little boy met this older man, he was like in his 80s. This boy was like five. He started crying. Whoa. Because oh he knew God. exactly who this guy was and what his name was. Talking about like World War II. Like uh, imagine that. You know like uh, the Cameo app or whatever, Stephen yeah. Goldness, yeah. the founder. His, there, He's family friends with like a medium. And the medium told him or like his family that his younger brother is like has the light or whatever. And they like. What she, is that? like Meaning like. Like when the kid was younger, a medium like saw him and was like, he has the gift. Like, so his brother being is a medium of being a medium. Wow. So it, but like, and I've hung out with him and so, but he does, he kind of believes it, but it's not his career, but he's been told that he can connect and he does feel Maybe it. He knows he can connect. connect. Dude, what, what would you guys do right now? If, like, if I was like, 
Zayn, you got the light. You got the what light. What would you do? I'd be like, yeah, bitch, I got the light. You'd be like, hey, guys, welcome back to my channel. Today yeah, I'm lit. Gonna... Like, who y'all want to connect <laughs> with? Uh, who y'all want to yo, connect yo, with? Uh, y'all want to see our great grandma? One second. <laughs> <laughs> you be using that to your advantage. You be going to the clubs. You want to let me in? Well, your grandma says you should. Oh, I'm What's connecting her right now. Said? She remembers. If she you don't let me in. <laughs> she used to change your diapers, the little ones, with little duckies on it. Yeah. <laughs> She, uh -huh. <laughs> you heard you heard about David do, um, doing some sort of thing like that. It wasn't a medium though. It was just a David a and Jason. They were freaking out about it. And and like it's it's hard for me to believe anything that David like says these days because you just never know if he's like fucking but with you or not. But he's also super skeptical. Like he doesn't believe a lot of shit. Yeah. He's just like very. And and that's if, why. If it's that's not why. Real or if it's not facts. Yeah. He's like fuck that. Mm -hmm. There's this number you call and you give him your name. It, it's weird. Like there's a system where you give him your name, blah blah, and then. You hang up and they call you back after a certain amount of minutes. But I'm sitting there, I'm like, if there were psychics, like, couldn't they just tell you on guys, the phone? Guys, okay, we got a David Dobrik. Look him up. There's like, there's like eight people, like, who's his mom, who's his sister. Like, but after like after like a few minutes, fuck, I, I hope I get this right. But it's after, it's a short amount of time. They can answer any question that you want to know. Like, they're like, oh, they'll know everything about you. Like everything. So you ask anything and they'll get it right. Why do you need so much time? I don't know. Yeah. That's what, on, you got, you got that the was light, one. You got that was one. Of, that was one of like. That was one of my like. Uh, like when David told me that like, he hangs up and then they call back. That was like okay. Well, there's something up with that. Like uh -huh. there's no way that they need to hang up. Why would they need to hang up? That's what I'm saying. Like I'm super skeptical. I think I need something to happen to me specifically. Yeah. yeah it needs In order to, be to believe or to like. Just be like, yes, okay, yes, it's yes, it's real. Like, yeah. and I, I can have my own story to tell. Yeah, exactly. And that's why, like, when I drive by like a psychic like store, it's a psychic store, a psychic office or whatever. I'm always like, is today the day where I'm gonna pull over and ask? And if I do ask, do I want to know that information? Yeah, I'm like I'm so worried going and then being told something, and that causes a complete different change in my life i'm in between i don't believe it and i really don't want to know my future because like that will yeah. just screw up how i think about everything if, if someone if they say you're gonna die in a car crash i'm never gonna get into a fucking car again it's yeah. like it's you don't want someone to tell you something you don't want to hear would, because yeah, would, gonna, you, would you want to know like what age when 100 no. No, no 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 but like it's not human for us to, to, to right. like it's i don't think they would tell you that though I don't if think they, if, if they knew if they really if, if you if wanted they to they know they could tell you but I don't think they'd be allowed to to say something like that. Yeah, it's just would, like would so they scary. be allowed to let me take a pee break right now? <laughs> I gotta <laughs> take a pee break. Go, go, go do it. No, go take a pee break. Bring we your can microphone. Keep, we can keep talking. With okay, you. while while Heath's in the bathroom, let's all say two things that we don't like about Heath. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> I don't like I don't like how nice he is. I don't like how much he how cares he for his girlfriend. I don't like how much he loves his that. mother and uh It's the worst. Oh, can I can, can I say something though? Yeah. In the next 4 minutes, I think my, my girlfriend's going to be here. My oh my god, Let, let's get her on the pod. Wait, let me unlock the door. Yeah, unlock the door. door. Should I just say I so, bring the Yeah, have her, walk, have her right walk in. in. We made a rule to ourselves to never allow anybody, not allow anybody, but like we just wanted to keep it the four of us until we like had like special guests on here or whatever but I can't believe my girlfriend well, no, it's, we won't. it's a drunk podcast i feel like when you when you're drunk you make drunk decisions you make decisions that you regret later but who cares by the way paranormal episode continues next week yes <laughs> okay bitch i'm back you know we're gonna give a no, little bit every episode I you know i want to have a full episode because like i don't know something like we touched on but i feel like there's so much more to say about everything yeah i could talk it, about paranormal stuff for i know yeah. I, I i have I, I have so much shit that like that's happened that like we could talk about which is like and it's real too it's real it's real shit but it like is. for some reason i don't believe it like you see something you're like i didn't see that right i didn't i didn't see that like you just tell yourself that like it's super natural fake. there's stuff like, that has happened to me in the past where i'm like that's a ghost and i like i've, I've admitted to myself but yeah. as i've gotten older i'll be like no nah, it's not ghosts it's like, hard because ghosts, ghosts don't exist right and, it, and, and it's, it's a constant battle yeah. back and forth of whether i believe or not but when when shit happens like when you woke up and someone say you're gonna die is that real like do you see that as real or do you see that well, as you I, were I see that sleeping? as like sleep paralysis it was a, it was a dream that was mixed with reality and it was a, a but are you sure that you were sleeping at that time or were you awake and like that I don't just... know there's been times when I was younger where like 
I had bed posts that were set into the the legs of the bed that I was in. Yeah. And it was like a little ball and they would like rattle and they just like weird shit would happen. That's that's because you were farting throughout the night, so that shit kept rattling. That was, that was because I was scared and I was shaking in the bed. <laughs> I was at uh, the bungalow this past weekend, and a girl who was a listener came up to me, and she was like, oh, my God, I love the podcast. And then she looked at me dead in my eyes and was like, Heath's house is haunted. What the? What? Why? Why you bring that Fuck shit? you, man. Why, Why you bring that shit into this goddamn house? Oh, Wait, man. I should have <laughs> What? <laughs> Mariah's looking at me like <laughs> guys. Got- no, because I had an idea. Shh. We should bring a medium on. Oh, I don't uh, want it. I don't, I don't, it makes me nervous. I don't, I don't think I want to know anything from my past. I, like, I don't want anybody to tell me something I don't want to hear. No, no, no. Not a psychic. A medium. Oh, okay. That channels ghosts. Did I reset? Ghosts, people that pass. Matt, no! Did I reset this camera? Though? Oh, you looked. Oh, what? I, he looked I, at me I, and was I, like. Heath, I literally thought you were hallucinating and you were seeing shit no, right now. he looked at me and was like. Heath, Heath and I, and I was like, I thought something was right here. Like, well, guys, we didn't end up all crying this episode. That's, I didn't, pretty good. was not expecting pretty that. Damn. He, we, Mariah's we, almost there. Though. I see a little bit of tear in her eye, but we'll get there. That just means we didn't get fucked up enough. <laughs> I really want to bring on a medium. Hey, hey, Matt. I think it's a great idea. They, hey, the, a Hollywood hey, medium. Oh, and then we go Talk ghost the hunting. The Hollywood huh? medium and Teresa Caputo, the Long Island medium. Oh, I like her. She's I good. I love her. I just, I, oh, I don't want to believe it. Ready? It's yeah. not- we should. We bring your mother. We bring. We bring Tina on here and tell everybody it's a medium. Yeah, this is uh, our medium. Oh my God. Scared the hell out of me, Patricia. C- Patricia, you got to give in. us a heads up when you walk into the house lock like the that. Door. We're lock going the door. to the honky tonk. Close Let's go. Hi, baby. Guys, we're, we're going to a honky tonk tonight. Guys, um, this is my it, dream. This is Heath's. This is Heath's. Uh, 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 Matt's <laughs> girl, Jesus. Hey, babe. This is, this is Matt's uh, new girlfriend, Patricia Fletch. She <laughs> is uh, from Black. Texas, uh, Alabama. You're getting everything <laughs> wrong right now. We've been having a drunk She's episode. She's from Auburn. Aaron, come on in. This is our friend Aaron. Uh, get on, Aaron. Aaron. Get on. Another Aaron. We have some guests. You like it? I know. Yeah. I, I, I'm rocking the pearl snaps. Hey, you. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> She sounds so good. Uh, I know. This is the first time we've actually had like we've never had any spectator watch. Do you guys have your tickets? <laughs> <laughs> hey, can we do fake fake? Mariah, Mariah, can we say something edits funny. A, Mariah edits a laugh track. In the <laughs> <laughs> Sign the wall, lady. Sign the wall. Yeah. Oh yeah. Every new member, every new member of the unfiltered squad has a sign on the wall. We're going to a honky tonk. Um, after. Can you tell the listeners what a honky tonk is? Because I don't know what a honky tonk is. I've been wanting is. to go for the last six years since I've lived here, but nobody wants to do it. What Thank is Thank you, a- Patricia. Toby Keith's song, I Love This Bar's music video is filmed there. Oh, Wait, was it really? sick. She said Toby Keith's oh, Heath is gonna I, I, music video. That's amazing. What is a honky tonk? Okay, so um, John Stamos' birthday. Yes. That bar that we went to. Okay. Is a honky tonk. That entire party was a honky so tonk. I thought it was well, a it, was, it was rented out. It, it looked it's, like it's just a regular like little party. A yeah. It's, it's a, well, he rented out that spot, but that's where we're going tonight. The same bar. Yes. Uh, honky okay. Tonk. Okay. Oh, he said okay. So it's so hold on. So the, so the vibe of being in like a that type of like uh like a western bar and doing like uh yeah, what's a dance it? tonk shit. No, what's a, what's a, line dancing. Line dancing. Line dancing. All that is called a honky tonk. Cowboys. All right. Cowboys. So it's like the. It's like the- it's like TikTok for rednecks. Okay. <laughs> exactly. You guys are gonna be very good, I think, on the dance floor. Thank Ooh, you. Mariah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. She's been She's losing. She's got her- cowgirl boots. You and your fucking cowboy boots, bitch. Disgusting. Bitch, bitch, disgusting. <laughs> bitch, disgusting. Are we done? Uh, yeah, I think we're. Kind All right, of- guys. Mariah is too drunk, so we're gonna have to end this episode. Um, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. We post the audio form of this podcast every Monday on podcast, podcast, Spotify, all those platforms, right. and we post a video version, <laughs> which is so much more fun. And you guys should definitely tune in on our YouTube channel. <clears throat> on our YouTube. On our Whoa. YouTube channel <laughs> at youtube.com slash Dana Heath. Wow. Okay. Wow. That was amazing. So I know. Incredible. Thank you guys for listening. And uh, baby, we get drunk for you because this is what you guys yeah. and we recommended get and wanted. We get guys, drunk. we did not. Uh, none of us wanted to drink yeah, tonight. Uh, we just we wanted to, we just wanted to give you that drunk episode <laughs> that you guys love. He, he's not even joking because we actually talked we, about this. I was like, 
I'm fucking tired. <laughs> I really don't want to drink. Mariah was like, my stomach's hurting. I don't want to drink anymore. I was like, we have a drunk episode. <laughs> you better drink, bitch. You better drink, bitch. Guys, comment down below if you want a spot to sit in the audience for your next one. Ooh. <laughs> Could you imagine? And the spot is so, it's it's not even nice, though. To bring it, you and a friend to the unfiltered <laughs> set. <laughs> oh, Mariah, that's the best idea you've ever come up with, actually. Ever? Actually, no, I'm, I'm dead cool. ass serious. Aww. We sell it on Airbnb as like an so, experience. Since you're about to move out of here anyways we should I just actually, start doing I would, it i would be down for that i, I would be mind. down for it that would be really fun that get him on cool. here we should have a, how can we Let's make a winner it. wait I, like how can we have like somebody that like yeah how do we do this I, I think tag probably... 15 people <laughs> in your last instagram <laughs> <laughs> wait, i bet well, there's like no. raffle websites where people can just submit yeah how do we do we this can pick we have to winner. we probably have to do it with like the merch because we have the name. But they have to live in yeah, the LA, LA area. LA, yeah. Yeah. And Sorry, guys. Oh, we fly them out, whoever no. it is. No, what? Oh, we're fly, no. fly them out to this. Come on. We're not doing that well. <laughs> what, we, what, what, we fucking open up my front fucking gate no. and we collect tickets? No, and- we, we invite people that live in the area that live like an hour away or an hour and a half away, maybe. But people are going to be lying. Yeah, <laughs> they're no, going to no, be saying, yeah. I, li- well, I live in Border well, I, mean, if, I mean, if they want to come here, they'll fly. They'll like, If they're going to lie about like being here, then they'll they'll fly here. That's fine. They're flying here then. So should we tell them like below <laughs> that there is a link where they can... God bless you. <laughs> okay. So if it is with the merch, what, d- what code... But that's what I'm saying. It's like you're, you're talking We're about... We're like, fucking yeah. mess. <laughs> A wait, we should wait, till yeah. <laughs> wait, listen to the Oh net. shit, I'm starting to get a hang of <laughs> We gotta cut this bitch Oh my god, my foot is trapped yeah, Help, guys, help I think oh we're my god. all we're laughing fucking at different men. things <laughs> Wait, we should just tell them the next episode We will have that Raffle And make sure to bring a dollar bitch Because we're gonna get you a bit <laughs> <laughs> open your, Make sure to open your purse when you come in <laughs> Heath, are you okay? Oh, oh You have what? Yo, Heath is about to puke, y'all. Should we have them DM us? Oh, he has the hiccups. Just wait till I don't the know. next. How do no, we do wait this? till the next episode so we have some clear instructions. Okay, okay, okay. okay. We're gonna we're gonna think about this, guys. And then we're, we're gonna, gonna be, change our mind. Yeah, we're gonna be sober <laughs> and we're gonna be like, why did we say we were gonna? Do that? <laughs> we do not want anybody watching this. Because people are gonna come over. They go, I thought we were recording at nine. I have to go. Because home. we say come at eight and we don't record until ten. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. We hungry. Let's hang out. All right, all right, all right, guys. All right, wrap it up. Guys, wrap I got we love y'all. Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings. We Mwah. always want to provide the juice and the funny, and we'll provide that next week. We love you so much, and good night. Mm. Did I say that in English?